This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org Get to your vehicle. I'm doing that right now and to leave the property. I am going to my vehicle and I am leaving the property. Is that not satisfactory for you? Where's your car park, sir? Am I required to answer your question? They didn't have. They wasn't. They weren't backed into a corner in terms of arresting me. And you know how Sun Tzu says, when you're when you're uh, assailing an enemy, you always leave a way out so that you're not just locked in a bloody, mutually ending struggle, right? You always leave a way out. So okay. for me, the way out that I left him was, oh, just continue walking me to my car, and then when I get to my car, maybe you'll demand my license because I'm getting into a car. Uh, you, may, you might investigate me a little bit more, and then I'll be gone. And that's, that would be their easy way out. And it would have been pretty hard to make that super controversial. Indeed. They didn't take that. They, they, had, to, they had to bogart their way through the situation and make it difficult on themselves. And it really was because it went to trial. And they got their, their, their backside handed to them in two pieces. Uh, and they, but they went through the whole problem. I mean, they brought witnesses. They, they did I mean, to try and make it look like I, you know, to, to try and say that I was not leaving when I was leaving, and it was all on video. He had video of it. Yeah, <laughs> it was proven on video. And the judge was like, well, "I can't, I can't put this, I can't convict this guy." <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> so, so, you know, the whole thing has gotten about half a million hits on YouTube. If you take all the different videos, the most popular videos, though, are videos of my lawyer, Seth Hippel, just dismantling the cops over a period of an hour and them misrepresenting things and the hotel people misrepresenting things. It's just all caught and it's all proven. And so these videos have, you know, 70, 80,000 hits each. Yeah, and it's, it's been great publicity for the Free State Project. The, the National Police Department is just like, just like when Keene attacked the Robin Hooders, the National Police Department proved to be a very effective tool for recruiting movers. A little thank you to the National Police Department. So that case went, right. went to trial like a, a while ago, right? There's another update after that? Well, but I mean, you went on a 3,000 mile trek to discover the answer to that question. It was almost two years ago when it went to trial, and since then, it just, you know, we just basically sued them after the trial. I mean, not, it wasn't so much like all the paperwork was filed, but it was just communications between my law firm, different lawyer actually with the same law firm, communications between him and the city of Nashua has been going very slowly. There's a three year deadline that has to be met before, you know, when papers have to be filed if we're going to actually do a full fledged lawsuit. And anyway, the news is <laughs> the reason I call is because I have asked my lawyer to go ahead and file the papers that would go forward with the lawsuit. Well, and if Nashua Police Department is so concerned about property rights, why did the Nashua Police Department arrest Mike Gannon for videotaping on his own property? comment to that because the fact the city has just been dragging its feet about even replying to him they just don't talk to my lawyer practically yeah well, no, not a surprise that what what do they want to communicate to him about um they've lost their case um you know so who <laughs> why are, in the world would they want to give you any information so dave just to clarify you're are you suing the nashua police department or the secret service or both it'd be the city of nashua um my, my law firm is advised against suing the Secret Service. They don't think we'd get as far going into the Secret Service. We think the, we think the weak point is... I would is guess not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. So, I mean, what are you asking for in the lawsuit? Are you allowed to talk about that? I think it's not going to be that much. I mean, I've been urged not to, you know, not to make the numbers that high. Um, so, you know, the last, the last we talked about it, it was, you know, just in the tens of thousands. It wasn't uh, the hundreds of thousands. But okay. uh, that could change. They could have different ideas. Um, I don't know how it will work. And I don't expect, you know, I don't expect the legal system to, to come through for me, right? I mean, this is, this is just something I'm doing because it's really not much work. I'm just going to let it play out and let them sweat. And, I think that's it, probably a smart they, until, attitude until to until have. Until they lose, until we beat them in court or until we, they beat us in court. And at the end of it, you know, if, we, if I don't feel like I've gotten what I want out of the justice system or the city of Nashua, certainly I haven't gotten what I want out of the city of Nashua. So what, we'll, what I'll do just at the end of it all is just go ahead and resume the kind of cam- the campaign that we were, were sort of waging in Nashua a couple of years ago right after the arrest where we did protests and I went to City Hall and, you know, uh, City Hall meetings and stuff like that. We'll just we'll just resume something like that for a period of time, 
um, until certain limited demands are met, I guess. Yeah, are you asking for a, an apology or anything like that, or is it just a financial uh, restitution? Well, right now we're just suing them because they're not really re- we're not responding to our question. What we, they, mm. we had certain demands, yes, uh, you know, that we sent to them that were rejected. The first one was just fire the officer that, that arrested me. They rejected that. Um, and the next one was, okay, the next one was, there had been one in the middle there, but there was another one where we said, okay, here's four options. One of them, I can't remember what all of them were now, but one of them was, um, just let me into the jail. I'd like to film the jail. I could use more video of jails, and I, I would like to show the public what I experience. Interesting. <laughs> So that that would be one thing that would move us forward. I don't think by itself it would solve the whole question. But if you would let me do that, then definitely we're on the right track and we're moving away from a lawsuit, right? Well, they wouldn't even respond. They never even answered, as far as I know. Um, you mm. know, unless they responded and we never got the response. Um, wow. Well, I I wish you luck, Dave. Yet. I think this is. Oh. Yep. I, I'm scared that it's you know. I'm afraid it's unlikely that, you know, I think you're going to get what you want out of the system. But, well, you know, Dave, I, I do want you to call back and uh, let us know when you manage to, to hoist them on their own petard there. Um, 855-450 free, free talk live. You know, I'm always talking about the fact that if you go to the state house and you swing your fist, you hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Well, I've never actually showed you any video of the, 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 the way the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is able to just pack the state house full of liberty activists. Take a look at this. On this day, we had about 30 activists, I think, to fight for more freedom in New Hampshire and prevent the state house from passing bad bills. There have been times where we've had more like 50. Here they are meeting with the governor the same day. Then they've had quite a bit of legislative success, too. That's why I'm a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance and hope you will be too. Find out more at nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org. 